There's been a lot of drama lately with the social justice warriors, many with the likes of Jenny McDermott. Most of you already know my video on Jenny, which is Jenny McDermott, Take Your Medicine, which is still getting views even to this day, and my thumbnail has been used at least twice from other YouTubers. My video is that popular on YouTube. In fact, if you Google search Jenny McDermott and look up images, you will see that the very first result is in fact my video on Jenny McDermott. And most of you guys prefer if I make videos on Jenny McDermott because me and her have a history together, as I was the very first to respond to her video. Quite frankly, if making more videos on Jenny McDermott is going to make my audience happy, then I have no objection to it. So let's get over on what's happening with Jenny. As far as I'm aware, Jenny McDermott has made sock puppet accounts in order to dox folks. She targeted the likes of Chummy Man and Wooly Bumblebee along with several other YouTubers, and strangely enough, I'm not one of them. I guess it's because I didn't want to give Jenny McDermott or anyone in the social justice community in general none of my attention. But it's gotten so serious that I have to stand up and fight against this injustice now that is hurting some of my good friends and fans. But now it turns out that Jenny made a GoFundMe page about her job. How she's not getting paid because the workplace has uh, caught on fire. Now, I have no issue with giving money to someone who are not getting paid for the money uh, that they deserve. However, it seems that Jenny was lying through her teeth as it turns out that she was being paid the money as if she was working. The company has no issue with the GoFundMe campaign if the reason is not based on the job alone. However, Jenny ignored that and still does it anyway. However, it still seems that Jenny is still playing the victim card without end. That she's getting nothing more than harassment. But we all know by now, she is here on YouTube because she knows if she goes after the likes of Sagan of a Cod or the Amazing Atheist, she'll become known on YouTube as a total moron, but people like Steve Shives and Kevin Logan will praise her without question, then claim that we're harassing her and give her money without question. It seems to me that social justice warriors are so desperate for money that they'll do anything for it. These people are opportunists. They see something that will get them money and they'll take advantage of it, all the while dodging criticism. But more and more people are seeing them as what they are, frauds. So it should be a matter of time before Jenny McDermott goes to jail. After all, it's not surprising seeing that social justice warriors have a dangerous streak of doing some illegal stuff. Now, some of you might be thinking, when will I make a video on the likes of Kevin Logan and Steve Shives? Well, it's about damn time I face them, isn't it? It's time I start being more active among my fellow YouTubers and take part of this injustice on what's happening right now. Until then, I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace the game out. <laughs> So